Uh, last year, I made a really big mistake. I went to Burning Man for the first time and volunteered on the uh, Totem of Confessions. And at the end of the burn, I said, what are we doing next year? Uh, everyone looked at me and said, we're not doing anything next year. And I was like, come on, guys. There's got to be something that's been in the works. Uh, and two guys took me to one side and said, yeah, there's been something we've been thinking about, but it will never, ever come to fruition. It's too big. We can't do it. Uh, and so I said, well, what is it? Well, they described this crazy, big-ass project, and I was like, yes, let's do it. Let's go for it. I spent the, the rest of the time convincing them that we could do it. They told us that they already submitted the idea about five years ago, and they'd been rejected because there was no way it was going to get off the ground. Well, thankfully, this year, we did get it off the ground. And uh, the two artists that can't be with us today, uh, Max and Johnny Poynton, which I'm sure many of you know, are currently in Africa burn right now. Uh, they just sent me pictures of the lighthouses they burnt there, because we actually went there and burnt some lighthouses as well, because the project wasn't complicated enough as it was. Uh, so I'm the project lead for this year, so I've been trying to create, corral this group of people. We've got about 75 people involved in the project today, uh, and believe it or not, we still need more people to help out. We started building in February uh, over at American Steel, uh, and it's, it's crazy how complicated building 15 lighthouses ranging from 60 foot to 23 foot can be uh, without putting them, as you can see, at different angles. I had a really fun conversation with an insurance broker yesterday. <laughs> they will be fire lit. We also have some amazing helicopter search beams that were being put into the top of the lighthouses at lighthouses. Uh, we're currently trying to build an app to control the lighthouse's lights from uh, an iPad or a phone. Uh, we call it the hippie spotter, because we can actually point to any one place on the plier, and all the lights will go to that place. <laughs> the, uh, the lights on the top there, the, the flame effects, they'll be there as well. And at the end of the week, uh, by the way, these lighthouses are fully climbable. You can get up inside them, you can walk around them. We've got different artists decorating different lighthouses. We've even got a, an artist coming from Japan who's doing the inside of one of the lighthouses. There'll be a completely different space. The idea is to create a destination that you can go to, that you can shelter in, uh, that you can enjoy, and that you can play in. As I said, this is not an easy project. Uh, fundraising is a real challenge. Uh, uh, there's a lot of money in, uh, required to build this, but we're doing really, really well so far. Um, structurally, as you can see, it's not easy to build either. Uh, we've had some great help out on that, but anyone else with structural engineering expertise uh, that doesn't want to charge, uh, that would be great. <laughs> uh, we're also quickly running out of space. We're currently building American Steel. Uh, to stay on track for our build schedule, we could really do with a larger space to build concurrently. Uh, uh, and in general, we're going to need more volunteers to help us build out there. The more people that we can have that are willing to commit to come early and help us build, uh, the better. So we have a crowdfunding campaign live right now. I'd really ask you, if you can't contribute, to share it, uh, the larger build space, and any skilled carpenters. Also, any nautical items that you may have uh, or you see lying about in antique shops, please let us know. We're trying to deck these out as much as possible. If you got the video, Joe, now would be a great time. Lighthouses have guided people to safety and warned them of danger for centuries. This summer, the Black Rock Lighthouse Service is bringing an interactive crystal-like cluster of these beacons to the playa. From the minds of father and son team Johnny and Max Pointer, and with your support, the service will create a jungle of lighthouses connected by bridges, Fireman poles, staircases, and slides. From the same team that helped build the Bottle Cap Gazebo, the Temple of Holiness, and the Totem of Confessions, the lighthouses bring together master carpenters, engineers, artists, and enthusiastic volunteers to create a towering spectacle and landmark for Burning Man 2016. We need your help to buy materials to build these structures. Transport them from Oakland, California to the playa. 
Be a part of something amazing. Join the Black Rock Lighthouse Service community. Make a contribution today and help guide lost and found souls alike across the mysterious inland sea that is the Playa. And just have to thank uh, Liam Neeson for the voiceover if you didn't recognize it.